fantastic, though. And I love recording because you never know what's going to happen. These motherfuckers better give us the goddamn score right after, too. Okay, so let's see. All right, so here we go. Why does the author mention salmon in the passage? Mm. So if we look over here, salmon are a common type of whatever type of Nostradamus fish, okay? While freshwater eels are notable cata dramatist fish okay now the author is mentioning salmon to make a comparison between them being anna yeah. and fresh water and this you know eels being cata so that's kind of what we're going to look for in our answer it's a comparison now mm -hmm. this says nothing about longest migration now this is what i don't like about test glider because you know what, test glider, there are a lot of bad fucking answers, and we're gonna expose them. However, okay. again, does it say anything about migratory fish populations? No. Does it talk about swimming up rivers to spawn? No. But then it says migratory behavior of catadromous fish. So I'm like, hold on. So all of these answers are bad because the main reason why this author is making a comparison, I mean, like state and salmon is to make a comparison between two types of totally different fish. This is why I tell you to look at the senses before. So here we go. This is kind of going to be the deciding factor in terms of why we're going to choose the answer it is. Fish that swim from the ocean back to freshwater to spawn are called anadromous. So what do we know now? They're talking and he's mentioning salmon because they are a type of fish that swim from salt water to fresh water. So we're talking about going from one place to another. Now, this is very yeah. easy to choose now. What would be your answer? A or B. Okay, now check, good. Now remember, this is the whole purpose of that specific sentence. Fish that swim, swim from, from salt the water to fresh water. So based on that, A or B, which would be the best answer based on what I just highlighted? Wow. Between A and B, what's the, what is the best between A and B? A. Okay, but uh, are salmon a catadromous or an anadromous? No, it's an anadromous. That's right. So the best so answer would be B, right? To provide an example of fish that swim up river to a home. Now remember, it doesn't say anything about swimming up, but this is a type of fish, anadromous, and this type of fish goes from salt water to fresh water to spawn. Mm -hmm. The whole purpose of this sentence and this vocabulary word right here, spawn, is in B. Now, does it say anything about the duration of a migration? No. No. Does it talk about dams in this sentence? No. Does it talk about the behavior of catadromous fish, such as eels? No. There it is. However, if this is a very bad rhetorical purpose question answer, as this bullshit ass website test slider does do at times, they're going to try to put the answer after the sentence. They are hindered by reaching the waters they prefer to spawn in by human obstacles like dams. And there it is. See, if the answer comes after, which it never should, but if it comes after, this is the answer. Based on this stupid ass website and test glider, this Korean website, this would be the answer. Although it's never supposed to be like this, the answer should always come before. And that's why. We would choose B. However, if this is a poorly put together website as it is, especially with the reading and very bad rhetorical purpose questions, the answer is C. So here we go. Are they going to give us the answer? Oh my God, they're gonna check all my answers? Good. Yeah. We got it. All right, so they didn't fuck up that time. 
Okay. All right, we're gonna be going back to it. Okay, we got we got so many more answers. <laughs> okay, now do you understand how I did that? Now, what I really want to focus on, and the goal for us was to dive deeper, because for some reason, if you and if I weren't here providing you with that inner coach and being that angel on your shoulder, you would have chosen A. So we yes. need to dive deeper into why you were going to choose A. The moment I said Anna and Kata, you said, oh, so what do you have to do to make sure you don't make that mistake? I don't know. You got to make sure you know what you're talking about because you had the Anna and you had the Kata. The Kata is the eel. The Anna was the salmon. You missed yes. a detail point blank. That was it. So please okay. develop that inner coach and ask yourself, okay, well, it was actually this. And so, uh, you know, uh, from here, we're, we need to go into another one. So, um, yeah. So anyways, with that being said, let's get back to it. All right. Where is, uh, which one did we just do? Yeah, rhetorical. Okay, let's get into another one. All right. So, oh my God, here we go. Here's another one. What does the author uh, mention the Aryans in the passages? Okay, so check this out. Some right there. Wait, hold on. Now remember, it says some. Is some a main idea? No, it is an example sentence. So this example sentence is in regards to experts believing that an invasion happened by the Aryan people, but we have to get to the main idea first. And guess what? Several theories present possible reasons why the civilization started to crumble and the people started to disperse. Some experts theorize that an invasion happened with the Aryans. He's given an example of a theory in terms of how a civilization had fallen. That's okay. what you have for in your answer. Let's go to A. To indicate the reason why the Indus civilization failed to protect itself. Hmm? No. <laughs> no. To illustrate the, the most commonly accepted idea about the fall. Hold on, hold on. The most commonly accepted? Uh, I don't think that's the most commonly accepted. However, you never know. But let's keep it going. Yeah. See, to explain one theory about the decline of the... I love C. That's one theory explaining the fall of the civilization. It was because of motherfucking invasions by the motherfucking Aryans. See what I mean? See how that mm -hmm. works. And D, it says to show where the people of the Indus Valley civilization got their weapons from. Does it say anything about weapons? No. Look, it, because if you read several theories, present possible reason why the civilization started to crumble and the people started to disperse, then some experts theorize that invasion neighbor people such as these guys causes the decline of the Indus. There it is. So I would say that C is better than B. Uh, uh, yes. Yes or no? But number C say to explain one theory about the decline of the Indus Valley civilization. That's right. And the Aryan people kept invading them. The Aryan people kept invading them. That's correct. No? Uh -huh. that's one theory it's not talking about the most commonly accepted theory, uh, it's talking it's one theory. theory. yes you see and it says here over here several theories and some experts theory number one is that these people came in and started whipping the fuck out of everybody yeah let's check so now the answer is after what they are Boom. highlighted the, mm -hmm. or, or not, not, or technically not necessarily because again if we come back over here and let me explain this i'm gonna i'm gonna break this down because test guider they have no fucking idea what they're doing if we look at the essence of the rhetorical purpose question the first thing i told you to do i always look okay the arians why are they being mentioned i immediately jumped to the beginning and said whoa 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 whoa, whoa. This is not the main idea. This is an example sentence. We're never going to be able to get our answer 
in an example sentence, or we're not going to be able to pinpoint exactly where we're looking. You need to look at the sentence before, which is always the main idea, which is, and you look here, they highlighted, see, several theories have been presented in terms of the fall of a civilization. One theory experts put forth were the invasions by the Aryan. That's why C is the answer. The answer still comes in the sentence before. The answer still comes in the sentence before. Okay. ¿Tú entiendes, señora? No, sí. <laughs> you said no, sí. Okay, we're going to keep going. This is why we're focusing on these rhetoricals, okay? So let's go. Rhetorical purpose. All right, we got another one. Ooh. Cheap movie tickets. All right. Why does the author mention cheap movie tickets in relation to the Roaring Twenties? Now, here we go. Let's look at this sentence just to make sense. Just to make sense, that's all. They brought many young people to the cinema for leisure, for Marvel, new class, celebrities, movie stars. Very easy to understand. Okay. But the Roaring Twenties. Okay. I'm going to have to look only over here. But you okay. know what's funny? The Roaring Twenties was mentioned all the way up here. And I'm like, what the fuck? However, let's check this out. I'm going to break this down little by little. If you look at this sentence. The United States started to gain dominance in the economy, and the West started to slowly transform into an urban society. With that came a cultural shift. Cheap movie tickets brought a young audience to watch movies in terms of celebrities. Mm -hmm. So, to now... With that being said, let's see if we can answer that without having to look anywhere more up, like any further up. Because if we start looking further up, it's going to end up becoming very confusing. So if we look at A, to explain how Western society was able to achieve economic prosperity. Hold on. Cheap movie tickets is the reason why they achieved economic prosperity? Mm -hmm. That's kind of weird. Let's go to B. To give an example of a cultural change that occurred during the era. But do cheap movie tickets for tonight? Huh? You, you don't want me to wear? Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you, baby. She, uh, she ironed my shirt. She said I look ridiculous. She doesn't want me to wear this. Okay. All right. So here we go. <laughs> I love her. She's the best, I swear. Okay. So with that being said, to explain how Western, <laughs> so funny. Okay, to give an example of a cultural change that occurred during the era, cheap movie tickets is a cultural change? No, they're giving us an example of how a cultural change led to a more urban society, and this is what these cheap movie tickets brought a younger audience to movie theaters. So I still don't feel like A or B is covering all those points that I just told you. Let's look at C to indicate why there was a huge cultural change in the 1920s because a motherfucking cheap movie ticket. It says a cultural shift was beginning as well. Cheap movie tickets drove many young people to the cinema for their leisure and to marvel at a new class of movies, stars, and ce celebrities. Okay. So basically, B and C it is not because to give an example and to indicate it, why there was a huge cultural change in the 20s. I, I kind of think it, I'm thinking it's B though. It is an example. And there was a cultural too. shift. And with that cultural shift for cheap movie tickets, making people go from here to here. I mean, but, but instead of choosing the right answer, just like you were doing right now, it's all about process of elimination. The, the yeah. now, cheap movie tickets wasn't the reason for a huge cultural change. That's really stupid. Now, the so importance of cinema? Was this the importance of cinema? It's not the best answer, but... Right? And so, cheap movie <laughs> tickets? Is that why Western societies were able to achieve economic prosperity? 
I mean, B is our only good answer here, no? Now tell me why you don't like B, though. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Ready to plug into the future? Join myself, Sean Leahy, and me, Andrew Maynard, on Modem Futura, where we explore the technologies shaping our futures. We bring the experts, the insights, and a whole lot of curiosity to every episode of Modem Futura as we boldly go where (laughs) no one else has gone. So join us as we navigate the intersection of innovation and humanity, uncovering the stories that will define our collective futures. Subscribe to Modem Futura wherever you get your podcasts. We'll see you there. See you then. But if you read just a little bit more up. Okay, so if I were to read a little bit more up, it says here, a lot of economic disparity thanks to advances. And again, there goes that word again, cultural change. This industry grew, lifestyle, here we go. The word change again, economic among farmers. Okay, country farms behind to work in factories in the cities for a regular paycheck. The United States started to gain world economy dominance and it slowly transformed from an agrarian, whatever you want to call that bullshit society, to an urban one. And then a cultural shift was beginning as well. Cheap movie tickets brought young people. So basically it's number A. It's between A or B. A or B. Okay. I don't know. now, Now... Cheap movie tickets was the reason why they were able to achieve economic prosperity, though. Do you really believe that in A? Motherfucking cheap movie tickets are the reason why the, the uh, cheap how movie was tickets. Able. But it says was able to explain how Western society was able to achieve. No, it is not. It doesn't make sense, right? We're talking about cheap movie tickets. We're talking about cheap movie tickets made the economy go up. It's B. It's number B. B. For Let's me, it's check. B. Let's see. Oh, here we go. 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 Yes, it's B. Ooh. Okay. Now, that's three questions now. However, do you see why and how I'm able to eliminate the last of the bad answers to choose the right answer? A, I kept telling you. I'm like, hold on. So cheap movie tickets is why they were economically sound? Yeah. It didn't make sense. I believe that cheap movie tickets was the result of the economy being strong, not why it became strong. Do you see that? You see what I mean? It's There's a before and after, okay? It is the result. It is not the reason. It is the effect, not the cause. And you see, I only had to look at the sentence before, too. Yes. But at least you were able to look at C and say, okay, to indicate why there was a huge cultural change, cheap movie tickets, it just didn't make sense. Like, cheap movie tickets is the reason why there was a cultural change? What? (laughs) To illustrate the importance of cinema, it had nothing to do with cinema. We were talking about cultural change, and you saw that there was a repetition of words throughout the paragraph, too. Yes, but I have to do it quick because I have only 30 It's okay. We ain't, we ain't talking about hey, speed or the leaves to a tree. Speed or the leaves to a tree. Building your competency, which is process of elimination, and building that inner coach. If you make it as strong as possible and you become an expert in those two, speed is there. Don't worry about speed. I have, I have two weeks. I know. You got two weeks. You got two weeks, so it's time to start building up those competencies, right? Okay, here we go. We got another one. Tony Schwartz up in here, baby. Why does the author mention Tony Schwartz? Now, apparently this guy's a productivity expert, and he explained a phenomenon with an example of glass water, and I'm going to stop right there because I'm looking over here. But guess what? This sentence starts with, in other words, I feel like that's another That's a reformulation. We're not going to get the main idea here. Although, let's just do it very quickly. Information overload made it harder for the brain to remember what it saw. Okay. 
So they're mentioning Tony Schwartz probably in, 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 in what is it, in relation to what information overload is to explain deeper the phenomenon by giving an example of a of glass water that kept having water poured into it. So they're mentioning this guy to further drive home the example in terms of what information overload is. Notice that information, 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 and information is mentioned in all the answers. This is why I always tell you, look at that sentence before. However, in this case, I would say, look at the sentence before. It ain't gonna hurt you. Even though the human being has a capacity to hold a lot of data, the overwhelming amount of information we come in contact with online makes it difficult to sort and retain new data. Um, in other words, information overload, it makes it hard for our brain to remember what we saw. Oh, productivity, Tony Schwartz explained this with a phenomenon using a glass of water and having just a bunch of water poured into that glass. Oh, too much information, water comes out of the glass. You understand what I'm saying? I'm now, saying maybe to provide an example of a case where information overload affected the ability of the brain to memorize. I like that one. I like that one. Let's look at the other. Hold on. Let me argue that technology must not be used. That's fucking stupid. We could eliminate these. See, we love stupid answers. It makes our lives easier. B, to illustrate how too much information affects our ability to remember. But, but. But Tony Sharp was explaining a phenomenon. It was like an example. Okay. It's a it's an example of glass of water. They mentioned him so that they could provide an example of a case. Okay. Yeah, I do like that one. I like that one more than I like B. I totally agree. How about A? To show the direct connection between an increase in information and the increase of memory capacity. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, it's B or C. I like C because it's more detailed. They're mentioning him because he's the one that provided an example of a case. Water being poured into a glass in which that type of information overload does affect the brain's ability to memorize. Yeah. Let's see. You picked it first. B is a little too vague. C is more specific. Hmm? Yeah. Let's, see. let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, shit. The vague one was the more main idea. The specific one was the C. To illustrate how too much information affects our ability to remember. They mentioned Tony Schwartz by giving an example. Of, it's funny how the whole water pouring thing is not even a case. Incorrect. The reason why the outer mentioned Tony Schwartz in the past is not to show the direct connection between the increase of information or the increase of memory capacity. To correct, Tony Schwartz in the past is to illustrate how much how too much information affects our ability to remember. The passage states that information overload is making it harder to the brain to remember what it saw. But to be honest with you, I really don't like this answer. Now, hold on, let me look. Tony Schwartz in the passage is to illustrate how much or how too much information affects our ability to remember. The passage states that information overload is making it harder for the brain to remember what it saw. The author further illustrates this by saying how too much information affects our ability to remember by mentioning Tony Schwartz. And Tony Schwartz, this is the reason why I don't like this answer. He was quoted. I did not go that far to look at his quote. I did not go that far to look at his quote. So remember what I told you about test lighting. They have a tendency of looking too far. They try to say, oh, no, you have to look at two sentences after bullshit. The answer is always before. If the answer is before, the answer is C. If the answer is after, the answer is B. The answer should never be after in rhetorical purpose questions, just as, as I had told you before. So uh, there it is. All right. They can kiss our ass. Let's keep it going, senorita. Hey, how come it didn't work this time? It's weird. 
Okay, well, got to go back to it. Let's do it. All right, we got another one. The author mentions watching a movie. Well, maybe you should highlight it. Yeah, maybe you should highlight it. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, it's in the third line. Uh, okay. Up, down, down to up. Right here? Where is it? Go back, back, down, 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 there. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, now, like I told you, this says, for example, the author mentions watching a movie. He's given us an example already. We will most likely not remember the details of a movie, okay? But to be able to understand what the hell is going on, we have to look here. The memories formed in this situation are weak and thus fade away quickly. So he gives us an example of a movie. Now, the rem the memories formed in this situation. What situation? Mm -hmm. According to the, whoever gives a fuck this name, it, it is hard for a person to retrieve information from memories that were formed while that person was distracted. The memories formed in this situation are weak and thus fade away quickly. Thus, we will most likely not remember the details of a movie. That's it. It's given us an example of how we are able to forget about things when we are distracted, potentially. So let's go see what kind of answers we got. A, explain how watching a movie reduces information. It has nothing to do with reducing, reducing information. Mm -mm. Show how memories form while watching a movie differ from those form while texting. Fuck no. We are not oh. looking up here. If the answer is B, this website could kiss my fucking ass. Let's keep it going. C, provide a reason why memories last longer than others. Uh, uh no. Okay. He's a hard person to retrieve information from memory that we're from while a person was distracted. And we're from B is without a doubt the best answer. Provide an example of a situation where weak memories are formed. A movie, weak memories. Why? Because we're distracted. We can't remember the details. Does that make sense? Do you understand, Daniela? Or are you considering another answer to be the answer? I understand. What was that? Well, if you read after a movie, they put they that we watch it while we're where we were simultaneously texting our friends because memories forming in a, such an environment tend to be, uh, no, no, texting or friends. Now, again, if the answer comes no. out, which is not supposed to, it would be, no. the, yes, is if it comes before. So if these fuckers, mm -hmm. like I told you before, know what the hell they're talking about, this would easily be the answer. But let's see, if this is a bad website, the answer is B. There you go. Yes. Okay. See, I always trust yes. my instinct. I told you at the very beginning, I said sentence before. Our keyword was in the four example sentence. I said, listen, you need to look at the sentence before because the sentence before is the main idea. Thus, that's why I hurry up and went up and said, okay, it's talking about this and that. And that's why I eliminated long term because there was no mention of long term anywhere. Okay. Yes. You said Arsenio, but if you look after, it's going to be B. I said, if this is a bad website, as it is, the answer is going to be F. And then I said, C is dumb as hell. We're not talking about the duration. And there oh. is a comparison. So we could hurry up, eliminate that. But then when I went to D and it said, provide an example of a situation where weak memories are formed, I immediately said, you know what? This could be our home run. Yeah. What do you think, Mrs. Oh, not Mrs. Miss Daniela. 